What up PMPT family? So this next shoulder screen tool is for the rotatory components of the shoulder. So what you're gonna do is once again, find a wall. Don't knock any of those pictures off the wall. So make sure there's nothing on there because we're gonna be putting our arms up on it. You're gonna step back onto the wall. We're going to have the feet about six inches away from the wall so that we can then bend the knees a little bit. That gives us the ability to tuck our pelvis under to flatten the low back. So let's go ahead and flatten our low back so your entire spine's touching the actual wall. Once you have that, then I want you to take the tested arm, which I'm going to use my right. We're going to take the non-tested arm, place it on the rib cage. This is going to be a way for you to see, am I stealing range from my rib cage flaring up, which means you're extending your back. So what we're going to do is keep everything touching, back of the head touching. Let's put the shoulder up to 90 degrees of, of uh, elevation. So the elbows at shoulder height, and then you're going to slowly rotate the arm into the wall. Now, in a perfect test, we want your arm to be able to touch flush into the wall, so nicely pressed into the wall, the whole entire length of the forearm. If you're not getting that, then we know, okay, there's some rotatory restrictions in the shoulder. Um, but if you are stealing from different parts of the body, once again, with arching the back or hiking the shoulder, you're not getting true rotation of the shoulder. You're not getting a true uh, representation of the shoulder. You're creating a compensatory pattern. So the next component to the rotatory test is internal rotation. So now you're gonna bring the arm down as far as it can. Now I would kind of set a standard of at least getting 45 degrees past 90, I would consider a good test. If you're only getting to here, then we know we better be working on internal rotation for the shoulder. So give that a shot, guys, and, and let us know how it goes. Um, if you'd like, videotape yourself and post it in a forum, and then we could give you feedback. Or maybe during one of our, of our live Q&As, we can answer some of these questions.